as it began getting hot. There were a lot of vultures flying quite low above the ground. Vultures are really, really important in the Serengeti system and effectively clean up these plains, disposing of any animal that dies either naturally or from predators. And it's quite a job. Whiteback landing here. Getting into the thick of things at the carcass. A lot of squabbling. But it was interesting to watch the pecking order. The whiteback vultures and the griffins have the protrusive necks that can penetrate the carcass. And the winner returns to the prime spot. A Rupel's griffin arrives, slightly bigger than the whitebacks. And as you can see, it holds more authority than the smaller birds. Working around the fringes are the hooded vultures, which remind me of bald chickens. Smaller birds, smaller heads with very sharp little beaks, obviously designed to pick up the scraps. So while the other two species work the inside of the carcass, these two work on the periphery. And this is the kingpin of the situation, the leopard-faced vulture. He's the biggest by a long way and the heaviest, and his area of expertise is dismantling tendons and tough pieces of skin. And you can see by the size of that bill that it can exert a lot of power. Amazing to watch these birds, each a different cog in quite an efficient machine that works on the planes here.